Oh, he's looking at it. I got a pass under it. Got him. Oh, he's bigger. 8.42. 8.42. Two. What just three. happened? Biggin, biggin, biggin. Oh my gosh. Biggin, biggin. All right, y'all, just because I've never seen this done before. I don't know if this is going to work, by the way. We're about to find out, though. Buzz bait on the fly. Got him. Buzz bait on the fly rod. <laughs> it's like a five. Hey, 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 everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to what apparently looks like the workshop at the moment. We got a lot going on. Little boat issues lately. Needless to say, today, no boat. We're going bank fishing with some buddies. We're doing a little fly fishing challenge, at least myself. I think they might be throwing some casting gear. If I break down and really suck today, I think I might break out a bait caster otherwise. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. All fly gear today. So, I've got a couple different setups here. Figured I'd show them off. Haven't uh, showcased the Orvis goodies in a while. This one right here has got sinking line. I believe it's like an eight weight setup. No, this is a 10 weight. Is this a 10 weight rod? This is a 10 weight rod. Whew. This is a 10 weight rod right here with like an eight to 10 weight rated reel, I believe. It's been a while since I got this stuff and I haven't been fishing it so much, so I've almost forgot what I own. Uh, this is like a six weight maybe. I believe this is a six weight rod, yes with an Orvis Hydros. These are both Hydros, they're just different um, size spools here. And the goal today is to catch fish on the fly on top water, right? A bait that you can work across the surface of the water, the bass explode up on it if you're unfamiliar. Uh, summertime is a great time to get after it, specifically towards the sunset. And if we get on a top water bite, I wanna try something that I've never seen done before. It's a bait made for a casting gear or a bait caster, uh, but I'm gonna try and throw a buzz bait out on a fly rod. It's going to be really hard to work it across the surface. This is like a double-handed retrieve. Um, that's going to be the only way to maybe make this happen and see if we can catch a top water bass on the buzz bait on a fly rod. But to start things off, I'm going to throw out things like streamers. I've got a couple more fly rod and reels in here. I've got the Seaborn stuff. Quick shout out to Seaborn. I haven't mentioned them in a minute. They sent us these rod and reels and uh, we absolutely love them. We got the whole setup here. So this uh, guy right here, I believe is an eight weight. Uh, it's like a seven to nine size reel. And then this one right here is a five to seven. And I've got this on a five weight rod. So uh, some lighter duty stuff. We'll probably fish the Seaborns today. I'm just gonna break these things out and rig them up. That way I'm ready to go when we hit the water this afternoon with the fam. All right. So we've got some streamers, right? We've got a chartreuse game changer. Dude, I have not fished this yet. <gasps> this is from Fish Chase Flies. This is a topwater walking bait with a single hook. We also have a color that if it's not too stained is my favorite. This guy right here, this is another streamer, another smaller game changer. And then we've got the big boys. We got the big game changers. Uh, I've caught so many fish on this. I've caught, I believe it was an 11 pound striper. I mean, he's missing the eyes. This thing has seen it all. This thing has caught some giant bass. I think it was a six, uh, like a five and a half pounder out in Florida. I honestly might just frame this thing and uh, retire him. So that's a little bit of what you're in store for today on the fly rod. I'm gonna go ahead and rig these up. These rods, like most fly rods, have got alignment dots, these two little dots. That way, as you're assembling it, you know that all the eyelets are gonna line up. And instead of just pushing straight, what I like to do and have been instructed to do in the past to get a better kind of like lock on the rod and it won't come apart on you, is to kind of give it a little twist as you get close to lining them up. And so I kind of go in offset and then I twist it until they're lined up and it seems to have a great hold. Also, I used to assemble the rods from the butt end towards the tip. And then when you get to the tip, you're like, you're going like this, trying to like reach the end of the rod. So if you start from the tip and assemble it towards the rear, then uh, it's not as challenging getting that last portion set up. So you'll see those dots are offset or maybe it's not focused. That's fine. I'm just going to twist it as I push in there. Excellent lock. We are at the spot, man. Straight has already said he's missed a four pounder. I got all three rods here. We got the six weight with top water and braid. We got the five weight with the baby game changer. And we got the eight weight with the big changer. Normally I just toss a bait caster like vertical in my backpack and let it hang out, maybe even two as I fish another one. But with the fly rods, if I have those things sticking out, I'm gonna be like whipping past it. Recipe for disaster. <laughs> Take him out, <laughs> he said. <laughs> really? I'm gonna, I'll go over here a little bit, give you some room. I'm gonna throw this popper. I'm gonna throw the popper. The, oh, I was about to say, bro, they're sleeping on the game changer. Golly, bro, he hit it like top water. There he goes again. Oh, 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 no way. 
I forget what type of line this is, but it like burns your fingers when you set the hook. Textured, textured fly line. There we go. First bass, top water. <laughs> All right, down by the water fountain, baby. See you, bud. We gotta get some more like that. Oh, he's looking at it. I got a bass under it. Got him, got him. Oh, he's bigger. He's bigger, bro. I saw him looking at it. That might be like two and a half, maybe. Half bro, over there. I watched him chase it in from the creek. That was so sick. Oh, dude, that was like three plus right there. That was big, dude. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Seen a bass so Bro, that's like, I mean, that's bigger than seven. I don't know what this is. You got a scale? That's that's a very big that one, dude. Insanity. 842. What just happened? Oh my gosh. Shatterbait got this behemoth. Oh my god. Let's go. She's starting to flop the side fence. That's good. Kind of go like this a little bit. Yeah, kind of go back and forth. He's starting a little bit. Okay, that's good. She's kicking. Eight and a half. She's a back shower. Crazy. Oh god, baby got back through my boy. Yo. Let's go, dude. Go, dude. I told you. That was insane. I told you, you better come. Every time, every time like high five. <laughs> dude, that was a dude. sick double. Wow. Dude. That was knuckleball. Nice. <laughs> we all got to win his ass. Oh man. I think that's the biggest bass I've ever personally seen get caught out of a pond. All right, y'all, the top waters are working. Jimmy's catching them on the buzz bait. Ryan's catching them on the pickle. And this is another walking bait for flies, specifically with a single hook that is similar to the pickle, right? It's a nice walking style bait by Fish Chase Flies. Never tied it on. We are seeing a lot of crazy stuff in today's episode, so I would love to get one on the top water. And I have the buzz bait here ready to go for sunset, if we can even make that happen, because that would be extremely tough to throw or catch a fish on the fly rod with. So, woo, woo, woo. Ooh. Ooh. Baby, I've never seen a walking fly rod bait. I think I'm gonna go to this point or something. I gotta try it. I gotta find something. There we go. The tiniest fish. How funny is that? See you, bud. Oh, biggin, biggin, biggin. Oh my gosh. Biggin, biggin, biggin. Whoa, whoa. Biggin just smoked the game changer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. Ryan. Oh my. Oh my. Is that a PB? This is a giant. <laughs> Yeah, boys! <laughs> Yee! <laughs> Come on! Oh, big game changer right off the point. That might be that might be a five. Let's see what happens. I almost lost it too. I gave him slack a couple times as I was trying to reel him in. 480. 482. <laughs> almost a five. He smoked a game changer. Let's go, fish chase flies. Oh, let's get a look at this thing on the iPhone cinematic mode. She's a beauty. I don't want that phone focusing on my face. Almost a five, y'all. 482. Drew with the freaking eight and a half pounder behind the camp. Thanks, bro. <laughs> All right, we're going to get her back in the water. Try and catch something even bigger. This place has been on fire today. Crazy. <laughs> the golf course is lit today. Oh, the, the buzz bait, huh? All right. Oh, another. Dude, they're on this point. They are stacked right here. Ah, got him. Big and... Come on. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, chunky two and a half, maybe, maybe three. It's fat. All right, let's get him in. There's bigger ones. Craziness. I'm telling y'all, Chase makes the best flies, dudes. If you're trying to fish for bass, get some game changers from him. Hit him up. Instagram is in the description. Whew, whew. What a day. Oh, big fish. Oh, got him. Oh, gosh. I didn't get him. He's right here. He's right here. Oh, 
the god damn. Ah. Oh, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one. Oh, 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 it's a big, bro, it's a giant. It's a giant. I got, Jim, land this fish for me, bro. Land this fish. It's a big one. It's a big one, bro. It's a big one on the flat. Ah. Oh, God. Dude, that's a 20. <laughs> that's a baddie, that's a yes. What a day on the course. Can y'all believe this? Oh, oh, son. What just happened? Straight just comes over here, kills it with the buzz bait. <laughs> hey, the fly rod ain't doing that bad versus the bait casters today, though. Oh, oh, do you see him? Do you see him, Sorrel? You know, he at me. He got mad? Uh, oh, I, I almost slapped Straight in the face. Got mad oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Ha <laughs> ha, dang it. All right, y'all, we've been catching them all day. It has been insane. We're going to go for it. It's time for the buzz bait. What color buzz baits y'all throwing? Jimmy, what color is your buzz bait? Okay. All right, y'all, just because I've never seen this done before. I don't know if this is gonna work, by the way. We're about to find out, though. Buzz bait on the fly. I'm just gonna go uni knot with the 50 pound braid on the six weight rod. The tricky part about this is you gotta start reeling as soon as the bait hits the water or it sinks. And you have to be pretty consistent and fast with it. So regular stripping is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to hit the double handed retrieve. This could get very interesting. Will this even work at all? Oh boy. It's gonna even be tough to cast. Oh, okay, you can kind of like work the rod and strip. There we go. Fuck. This is crazy. Oh, oh, oh. If it went below the surface, there we go. Come on, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a good one, bro. <laughs> buzz bait, buzz bait on the fly rod. <laughs> it's like a five. <laughs> it's like a five. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> buzz bait on the fly rod, dude. <laughs> what just happened? Buzz bait on the fly. <laughs> Yo, double handed retrieve. Strip set like a boss. <laughs> that one's gonna suck. Just keep it rolling the whole time if you would. I'll save that clip. Wow. What on earth? First few casts with the buzz bait, double handed retrieve ended up working out a little bit better, but even with the regular strip, you kind of strip and lift the rod. Strip and lift the rod. And I was able to keep it on the surface. I'm not gonna keep this bass out of the water longer than we got to. We wanna make sure she's in good health. So we're gonna put it on a scale and see what potentially first ever buzz bait fly fish weighs. I've, I've literally never seen this. Literally have never seen a fish on the fly rod on a buzz bait. This is traditional casting tackle. This is not a lure to be thrown on a fly rod. We're just messing around. So now Yo. Yo. A 5'10 on the buzz bait on the fly rod. <laughs> What just happened? Freaking heck. Hold on. Where's the thumbnail? Ah, oh, screw it. We'll get it later. All right. We're going to let this five go, y'all. Holy smokes. I might have to try for something bigger. The sunset bite is on. Black buzz bait's hitting. And the fly rod can fling it. Who would have thought? Crazy. That's a way to end the evening right there. Let's go. Appreciate you. Dude, do you hear it when I fling it? Burr! <laughs> what a fun video loaded with big fish the biggest fish I've ever seen pulled out of a pond like in person just bank fishing and then also to catch that giant on the fly well on the streamer and then the biggest one on the buzz bait which I, I didn't I truly did not know if it was gonna work I just decided to tie up the Guggen Squad Hummer to that freaking fly rod and give it a go. Uh, 50 pound braid straight to the floating fly line and uh, we got it done somehow, some way. I'm loving throwing those unorthodox cast, well not unorthodox, casting lures, but just casting lures on a fly rod. If y'all are digging it, let me know what else I should try and throw on it. We, uh, we started things off with the Texas rig on the fly rod. That was a very interesting challenge and we got it done. We also did an entire mystery tackle box slam on the fly rod in the past. 
And it's just, you know, we've got a lot of ponds around us, lakes around us, where, where largemouth bass is what we're after. So, like, I'd love to accommodate uh, you trout fishermen and just uh, also some big game, too. Like, take the fly out to the salt water. And we're going to do all these things. But uh, for now, just deal with me on the bass fishing with the fly rod and, and enjoying something maybe you haven't seen before. But we do have some camping, hiking, and, like, almost stream or river fly fishing coming up that I'm very excited to bring for y'all. I might not include too much of the hiking just because I don't know if that's something y'all would want to see. Uh, be sure to let me know as well as we got some new camping gear we're gonna unveil for the first time on our YouTube channel we posted a sneak peek over on Instagram but it's gonna be the first time you are seeing it over here on the channel I think you're really gonna dig it we're gonna be towing this thing with a uh, I think like a Sierra Denali ultimate package GMC is hooking us up with a, a truck for this weekend's trip super cool of them uh, we can't thank them and y'all enough just for continuing to support us and watching the videos I mean it means the world so thank you and we'll catch y'all on the next one if you enjoy bass fishing content Content, drop that like, hit the subscribe, share the videos, and we'll catch you on the next one, y'all. Peace out.